What is up? Welcome to the Verzi Triplet Show. Uh, streaming, I yes, claps all <laughs> clap, <laughs> clap is a big deal. Yay. Yes, uh, floor is lava now airing on Netflix. Your boys doing our thing on there. We brought in a uh, fellow uh, TV show Netflix alum. Mm, there you go, and yeah. rival, and rival, and rival. <laughs> on our physical, episode. Physical specimen. Yes. yes, I'm gonna add that to my my yeah. bio. You know what? I, we can't we can't say that you're not a physical <laughs> specimen after the episode. <laughs> After the episode, my face, we can't, my face is. Uh, <laughs> we can't talk that. shit after the episode. Yeah, but uh, Chris, man, everybody. All right, now we clap. Thank you so there much. There we go. I'm feeling outnumbered here. Do you, do you prefer the credit of uh, bad dataitude, or because you have uh, a good list of things that you've done? Oh, thanks. Yeah, I don't care about the other guys on my team. Oh, that's <laughs> okay. Yeah, just oh, to yeah. be Neither clear. Neither do I. They're not here. <laughs> yeah. They're not here only because there wasn't space yes, in the room. That's true. That's true. No, so we, we just realized too the real talent and muscle and face of the operation was right and it, and it was tanner right yes and it was uh, tanner obviously. and then we, we got you <laughs> he, he was busy so he, we yeah that's right mm -hmm. and then luke was busy and then we hit you thank up. you that's and just, thank you for that yeah you know, it's, it's just, and the babies you're holding in the cradle that's right. and then yeah now you get no bad attitude is um it's a new it's a new thing is it trending yet i feel like it it's trending um, i think so it's, it, i think it, so too to us it's not a good thing oh oh why you guys are like the og you know, aspiration of all. We are the original losers. B level, yeah. <laughs> B level competition yeah. physical yes, shows. Yes, of course. <laughs> you know, we strive to eventually one day win the lava lamp, but you yeah, did. Yeah, we did. But you know, you don't need to. There's always season three. That's true. Um, <laughs> and you know, you you have quite the resume. So do we. We've now lost to moms and dads. Yeah. So and really animals. Were. We've lost and to animals amazing. too. In everything. We lo we've lost. Yeah. To well, show on the way over here, I did. You know, I did see. Your episode in in real life, yes. um, as did the world, and congratulations yeah. by the way, because it Thank was you know you. such an awesome thing that yes. we all got to experience in the pandemic. Yes. Enough about you, but anyway, <laughs> I did rewatch on the way here and did didn't realize that you guys didn't win your first episode. Yeah, uh, yeah. I that was kind of crazy. And look at look at you still, you know, you're the face of the brand. Yes, as weird yes. as it is, yes. It Keep was... failing up, you guys. This is L.A. <laughs> Isn't that the way to do it? That is the way to do it's it. It's like being William Hung on American Idol. It's like, <laughs> yeah. you didn't win, but everybody knows everybody who you Everybody knows who you that's, are. That's a dated reference, of course. Well, outside of Kelly Clarkson, he's, he is probably the biggest name that's come from that show. Yeah. He's yeah. probably big in, I don't well, know where he's from. I don't know. Maybe I Carrie Underwood. I'm not sure either about oh, that. Yeah. I think we should roll back in. Yeah. Carrie Underwood. Carrie Underwood, have... or maybe Jennifer Hudson, Oscar winner. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you're right, though. Um, you're so right. Yeah, yeah, maybe. So you're, you know, you're close to that. <laughs> Listen, I'll be honest. Uh, I don't like singing shows. Sorry, Chris. That's not funny. a, not I a don't fan. Either. I don't oh, yeah, either. For everybody that doesn't know, Chris was a, a finalist on The Voice. I was, uh, which Way is back. ten years ago, which is absolutely was it, insane. Was it a full ten years ago? It was a full ten years ago. I oh can't even God. believe that. I, Chris, team Christina in the I OG. Saw the yeah. yeah, yeah, you were on Christina Aguilera's team. Yeah. Uh, just a bunch OG. of OGs out here, just you know. Just a bunch of OGs, you know. <laughs> genie's in a bottle. Genie, I mean, genie's in a lava lamp now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a genie in a lava lamp. <laughs> Yuck. Yuck. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's, anyway, that happens. fun being here. So, um, did you enjoy your spirit experience on Floors Lava compared to the other shows you've been on? Sure. Yeah, I... So, I... Yeah, I compare my experience on Lava and, like, the nerve level mm. to what it might feel like to go skydiving. I've never been skydiving. Yeah, interesting. But, and you guys can chime in here, but yeah. we... I'll speak for us. We're so nervous waiting just be at like the unknown it was more excited you're just like yes. what is this like what yeah. the fuck is about to be behind this yeah. wall and yeah. just really stoked about it and then of course when you do come around and see what it is it's overwhelming yeah um, yes. so and it was the most fun thing ever i mean it's um ninja warrior for fat people i yeah, it is. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it really i'm yeah. just more surprised that you you were more nervous for that than the voice. No, he said it was like skydiving, like the same level of excitement and like nervousness. Yeah, well, I'm used to I'm used to singing in front of people. I guess people, that's true. That's like a different thing, but having to like, you know, not and I and I failed, not look like a total <laughs> asshole and like a total loser. True. I did not achieve that, uh, so I was nervous about it. I was gonna say I, this know. is that is one of the times I guess for you like where you've kind of been outside of your comfort Very, zone. Yeah, it's totally outside. Well, I think uh, what a lot of people don't realize about the show is that a you're like physically competing, right? So right. you are trying to do it in the fastest time, but then you also have to like be entertaining and talk, right? which is like the other added element where it's like you're trying to focus, you're trying not to slip, you're doing all these things, and then like, oh yeah, you have to be like, Funny. Kind of funny. Yeah. Yeah, and they have you mic'd, and um, 
Yeah, I mean, so I guess to answer your question, I absolutely loved it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but since I believe our episode is out, yes, yeah, yeah. Yes, this will be. I um, then it is no secret that um, <laughs> I completely face plant in, <laughs> in a way that I'm sure has been played ten times over yes. in slow motion. Yes, um, they'll make gifs about it. That's, it. that's what they did. Yeah, yeah they make gifs. It's good, fun, right? Um, yeah. That's great. It's a good thing. Yes, uh, absolutely. Uh, As someone who face planted on the first season <laughs> and, they, and they was played in slow motion to classical music, uh, they they really do try to capitalize on your uh, your pain. Yeah. So I, you know, I. However, and we discuss this as a team, and I, yes. I don't believe that the guys were trying to make me feel better, <laughs> but I essentially helped them out mm-hmm. by knocking down the four corners of the wagon. Yes. Um, oh, yes. And had I yes. not, you know, sacrificed my body, um, they would have not succeeded. So yes. I just wanted to like go on the record. No, that's very Which, true. No, that was actually very smart because on mine, I had to. I jumped over one of the fences and I kicked the other one off, and that actually was to my detriment. Because okay. then oh, I was yeah. like, oh, this side's off. I'm going to get a running start and try and jump up onto the platform. Uh-huh. And uh, it did not work out. I oofed pretty big. So Now, is this this time or last? This is this time. This, this time. time. This oh, is this wow. time. Okay. Yeah. So I kicked that wagon door off. It was the one that was next to where you're supposed to exit. Yeah. So I, I like, thought I, that's where I didn't, you know, had I known that you could just go straight into it and... Mm-hmm. Tried, I was trying to like go like that, and of course we were going on that spinning thing. Yes, yes. I mean, yes. no so one I... else could possibly have done it. So I mean, the fact <laughs> yeah. that I failed is not surprising because I mean, impossible. I didn't fail. Oh, oh, okay. I failed after that, oh, but I got right. into the so wagon. Somebody, so you might have done it, but no yes. one. Yes, yeah. Well, they were gone by then. Of we course. just always failed. <laughs> <laughs> so when did you guys bite it then? Uh, Mitchell's pretty, early, Mitchell's pretty another... early on. Yeah, I was. Uh... Mitchell's premature again, man. First one out, <laughs> first both one out times. both times. Yeah, I. Jumped from the tube onto the car, and what I didn't realize is that the tube, when you sit any any momentum you give, the tube will float back. So if you're like pushing off the tube, it pushes back. So when I put when I try to like get a big jump, the tube went backwards. So I thought like it was closer than it was, but I actually pushed myself backwards, and then I uh, fell right in front of the car. It was like a, it was like a uh, loony like a wily e. coyote where he's like running, 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 and then he's like misses the platform. There's nothing for him to have traction on, and he just falls. That's exactly what happened. Yeah, you're now that we're talking about this, I'm I'm reliving my dumb Your experience. experience but yeah. I rem- pretty early on, I went left. Like as soon as you came in, I went left. Okay, and that was me. So you and I had the same. We had a yeah. we had a sa- the surfboard, surfboard or whatever. Yes. So I am now recalling that I was like, I'm gonna test. There was attached to something. There was a cord. Yes. And so I sent it out into the lava just to see like how far it was gonna go. Except yes. that it isn't attached to anything. So oh. sh- very oh. quickly, I was like. I just literally fucking <laughs> sent the goddamn thing straight into the lock. So I'm telling the guys, I'm like, look. I took the paddle and I'm trying to fish it out. Yeah. yeah. I'm in retrospect, I'm don't know that I should promote being on the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But I did uh, that was that was tough. It, that was a lot hard because I don't think they really saw it because they just went to the wall and they did that. Yeah, like it was like yeah. bubbling from underneath. It was bubbling and it was very slippery. Very slippery, yeah. Um not stable and I mean the hardest I, way for sure. Yes. Yeah. And I and I thought it was a great time for me to actually take a page out of your book and I actually started to sing. I was oh, doing like a gondola singer. Oh, nice! Yeah. Like and I'll, I'll, or something. Yeah, no, just like stupid, like <laughs> fettuccine, but like nothing, like yeah. just stupid Italian That's, words. That is a really classic song. Yeah, his his singing, he's he his singing <laughs> in Italian sounds a little different than yours. Yeah, of course, it's not like Andre Bocelli or anything. Well, no, he's like a straight up opera singer. No, yeah. like you can yes. actually. I understand he has more talent than me. Thank you. No, I, yeah. I, I proved it twice. Physically, a better you, specimen, you, better hairline. I get it. I know you are you are hands down the least talented person in this room by far. It's not even. You're it's first out, close. You're, that's but that's only in a physical nice. town. I make up for it everywhere else. How? I'm a universal talent. Not when the lights are on, though. More I'm on there. stage. I'm there. The lights are I'm on. There. You go. Or, no. You go right into the not true. You, stand, stand up on the well, funniest. That's not true. Um, physical competition. I, again, you've only seen two flukes in my entire life, and it's been on those shows. That's it. Literally. Oh, wow. Yeah. Otherwise, crushing it. Otherwise, crushing it. A- MVP, of, MVP of the high school football team. You guys. Okay, that's not. Water boy. No. Alex is a water boy. Blew my knee out. And then Sean quit. I played um, collegiate I, rugby. Because rugby. I knocked him unconscious. 
You did not knock. You ever see the Oklahoma drill? I saw the Oklahoma. I I I ran. I steam. I we. He got up. He was trying to tackle me. Steamrolled over him. Just steamrolled over him. Yeah. No. They actually had to get a shovel to prop him up out of the dirt because I knocked him so far into the dirt. And your professional career has been great. Yeah. Everything else has been great. It was just. It's unfortunate (laughs) that the only two (laughs) times I've been caught on camera where I uh, choke. I we did have dreams of being professional athletes growing up. Right. Of course. We didn't realize you know being five five is not going to do it. Well, you're five five wide as well, so you True. never know. Yeah, we're we're chodes. Well, well then we, we <laughs> <laughs> And even I've never even, seen a walking chode. Even yes. now oh, we I still think three. I got three of them. Now <laughs> we still think we can do it. But it's like then you go on lava. Right. And it's like, oh, I can't even win against a mom and kids. At least at least we lost to, you know In fairness, it's incredibly slippery. And yes. there, there's like zero like, it could happen to anybody. Oh, yeah. So just don't feel so bad about yourself. Well, see, here's the thing. Mm-hmm. We thought that was a huge advantage for us. As having the low center of gravity. Yes. No. Oh. Knowing that it was going to be... <laughs> well, yes, that too. Wow, we hate Chris. No. <laughs> knowing that... I mean, you're right. But knowing that it was going to be slippery. Right. We had done it before. We knew it was kind of slippery. So we're yeah. like, yeah, yeah we got slippery. it. We, we got it. You know, we kind of... Uh, the shoes, there's only so much you could do, but... Can you tell the difference between lava season one and lava season two? Oh, yes. my God. Is it so much worse? The lava's different. Yes. Much different. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Mm-hmm. much different. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't, I don't know how much we can actually we can talk about we that. Contract. That was like the one thing. I don't. I don't know how much we could actually say about that. But it was very, very different. Yes. They're surprisingly secretive of the the lava. Yes. They're very. They're very much like mm. don't talk of the lava. Don't oh none of that. So, oh my. Yeah. All right. But I will say it definitely was a little uh, thicker. Yes. Sure. Okay. This, this go around. Thicky icky. And we know because we spent a lot of time in, inside the. <laughs> <laughs> well, so did I. I can tell you that much. Which I was kind of glad. I, I have to say, um, and just to be clear for your listeners, I redeemed myself and yeah. we did end up yes. winning yeah. yes. uh, whatever, the Lava Trophy, which we've yeah. emailed uh, legal and been like, when are we getting it? Oh. We're, not cons- we're not convinced that they're going to send that shit. Well, you haven't gotten it. They, they no. haven't get you the trophy? They, they, they send you all your winnings when it's aired. So oh. we will oh, see so you'll probably about, get it. you know, that um, Is you know, it- my one third of... Yeah. Of ten grand before yes. taxes, so that we'll yes. see what if it There's shows $700 up. Seven hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I actually get. owe them. It turns out that <laughs> yes. uh, it was really fun. Uh, and Do you then each get a lava lamp? Do you know? No, it's one. No. But we all work out, or they actually work out. I no longer. I don't work out. Come on, let's be honest. Uh, no. Uh, well, a little bit, but okay. so we all met at the CrossFit gym, and this has been like five years ago. I have since had two kids. Luke has had one. Mm. Tanner is has had. This none. is already the start of the most LA story ever. By the way. <laughs> yeah, I know. Met at CrossFit. We met at CrossFit, and we, we laughed because we, you know, you guys look like you would have met at CrossFit, and we look like we yes. would have met at Trader Joe's. So. Yes. yes. Yeah. Very um, exactly. much. Yeah. But I, I, ever since I had my first kid, like I just can't. I like go once a month. So I did go this morning, which is why I look swollen. That's swall. good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Shredded. Um, shredded. Um, and anyway, I've, I don't even remember where I was going with that. But that, like, we met, met them. Yeah, we met through that, and so um, that was the pitch with Netflix. They kind of, they, they, you know, three dads. <laughs> let's strap some babies to our chests. Let's yeah. see what can happen. Yeah. Um, the costumes were great, by the way. Yeah, it was we a great. Oh, touch. Thank you. We, we, you know, it was Luke's idea to, and Tanner came up with bad attitude, and I mm-hmm. came up with nothing. And which, by the way, you know. uh, we're filming this a little before the show, <laughs> but. Boy, did I trash that in the I don't know what they aired in the post <laughs> what in the do you mean? in the post the interviews the interviews that they could do the cut to interviews oh, yeah, yeah. trashed just, you just guys dragging on us oh yes. good yeah and the best is the war we failed so it's gonna they'll probably air it because I trashed you guys hard and then they're gonna be like oh yeah I lost again to these guys so no, I hope I hope uh, and expect and welcome. All of the trash. And just know that we meant every word of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> in hindsight. In hindsight. Um, How do well, you... I'm sorry for that. You, you know, the, the volcano part was really cool. All right. So let me just get back to, sure. yeah. to, yeah, yeah, to me, yeah. if, you, if, you, if I can. So Talk about you as much as you want. I was the one that fell yes, out yes. of my group. Yes. yes. And, so I, and not only did I fall, I face planted and then sank. So yes. it, was, it was like an epic fail. Yeah. Luke. Like the Terminator. It, it was. Yeah. Uh, Luke while jumping into that car in some fashion, tore something in his knee. Oh, no shit. This is some insider shit, you guys. <gasps> really? He hurt himself. And uh, we are old, in yeah, case yeah. you didn't know. Clearly. And, you um, look great. You're skin- thank you're, you, you so much. You have less wrinkles than us. are so good. Yeah. Um, so when it comes when it came for the second half of the round, so, you know, to climb this 
oh my thing. God. Oh. Well, here, hold on, hold on. Ooh, this is probably you can decide what you do with this, okay. or you could talk to your next guest. Let's keep it vague, but we know we know what happens with the next guest too. So that I, I was actually getting ahead of it because I'm like, it worked out perfectly. Mm. Okay, so we all right. There was a circumstance, yes, shall yes. we say, yes, that forced bad attitude to only put two people into yes. the finals yes. against two people from the opposing team. We we know about that. Okay. Yeah. So in that we're just that's gonna be a circumstance. Is yeah, that we'll right? just leave it like that. It's we'll, leave be it a vague. we'll leave it Everybody vague. Everybody will this is gonna break the internet. Oh people are yeah. Freak oh, out yeah. wanting to know what yeah. happened. Look at we, ten, tens of views. It's a live so, in floors lava lure for it will. <laughs> it will. So we had this choice to make. Mm-hmm. And I felt I felt like a real struggle here because I was the one that fell. Yes. Yeah. But then Luke wasn't a hundred percent. Yes. And so we had this whole debate, like who do we put up for this volcano thing? You know, the gimp or the loser. And yeah. so we went with the loser because frankly it was, you know, I'm the one that got us on the goddamn show. Yeah, that's that's and fair. I refuse to be upstaged um yes, by, by Luke. That's and, you uh, shouldn't be. Yeah, and I know, shouldn't be. Luke is you know, Luke's not here. We He's not here. We saw his resume, we're like, eh. Whatever. It's a, he has a mustache. <laughs> um was he on Pam and Tommy? I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> was I? I don't know. I don't think, I'm not sure. I mean, you I don't know, know either. Enough. I don't, know. <laughs> don't blink, because yeah, four episodes and I was like was I in this thing? But hey, just the anyway. check clear. That's all that matters. Oh, it's clear. Yeah, and that's all that matters. matters. So hey. anyway, that that pressure to get up for to like try and redeem myself, I felt so strongly. And I guess that you guys can get that. Like <laughs> your buddies, I don't know. Yeah, if we just like up there with friends. That was the pressure this year, and it, it <laughs> failed again. So yeah, I I can't tell you how optimistic we were going into this. We're like, we have the experience. There's no way we lose again. <laughs> See, it's funny because you mentioned that like pressure to redeem yourself. Yeah. We have a bunch of cousins and uh, like my my dad's side, the Verzi side is like very male dominated. So many guys with Verzi last names. A couple of them are officers. They went to like their department cops. after cops. Yeah, oh, couple, okay. they went to their department afterwards. And like, hey, do you know these these Verzi triplet losers that were on the show? And they're like, they said no. They're like, yeah, there are cousins. Like, wow, you guys suck at everything, don't you? And it was just. And they put that pressure wow, on us, you and really then um, your family down with this. This was supposed to be fun. Oh no, we we tarnished the name, and then really like the only thing my dad was upset about is that we lost. Like literally, like he's like you couldn't you couldn't like make it to the platform because like in the first season I fall like a, an like inch it. away from where the step is. Like I All literally right, I just watched that. Just, yeah, because yeah, you, were, you were hanging. Is that you? Yes, that was okay. me. That was me. Um, you just couldn't get any momentum. You couldn't get it up. Yeah, and literally was, none. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong. There's been a lot of disappointment that my dad has had for us. That might have been one of the most he's ever been disappointed. It just is like a purely like you go to the gym, you do all this stuff, and you can't even, you can't right. even do it. Just there, kip, kip, kip it. Yes, a kip. I should. I tried the Cross, net crossfitting. Crossfit yeah, the you. muscle ups would have been perfect because yeah. it was that yeah, exact right. motion mm-hmm. to get over there. Oh, and no. we the net the net was stiffer than a fourteen year old at prom. It was just I couldn't. You couldn't. It got no wiggle, dude. It would. I just couldn't move it. So I ended up face planting like you. So yeah, that, that's right. some of the obstacles, there's just no, there's either too much give where it looks like, oh, it looks very sturdy. And then it's like, nope, mm-hmm. that's how, that net, because I also had to, they didn't show it, but I also had to swing from it as well. Literally, me and Mitchell for three minutes, they were joking about the pull-ups, but for three minutes, we're trying to rock back and forth God, to get any terrible. momentum. And it's just, nope, you're Nothing. not, you couldn't move. Yeah. So that led to the the loss. But yeah, man, it's, it's definitely a fun, I mean, how, you as a dad, is it cool that your kid will get to kids will get oh, yeah. to watch it? For sure. And so I've, we're all all three of us are laughing cuz we've all had, you know, some interesting moments in our careers or whatever. Yeah. The excitement that yep. people give us <laughs> about Flora's Lava trumps everything that we've really? done, that we've really? trained for, <laughs> that we've sung for X, Y, and Z or been yeah. on this show. They don't give a shit. You're on Flora's Lava? Like, yeah. my, their families loved it, and their kids loved it, and um, huh. seriously, like, it's, uh, and we're, we're seeing that from, you know, people with kids, because that's who we hang out with. Yeah. Them. So, um, yeah, people watch the show, and they're very excited about it. That it's, couldn't be further from the <laughs> truth, bro, for who we hang out with. I'm well, sure. <laughs> we, we've, we've had a lot of, uh, we do a lot of stand-up shows, so, like, we've had a lot of people from, uh, that have seen us on Flora's Lava, and, like, my kids love you guys. Sure. So they'll come out to the show because their kids like us so much. Oh, that's cool. And so it's almost like we didn't plan on people. Like it, it, it's not at all our demographic from that show. But like, right. as a you know, as a parent, you have to watch whatever the kid wants on repeat all the time. Yeah. So like, they see us. They're like, all right, well they're performing. So no, even just great. getting a photo with them, they like our yeah. stuff. See, I'm very my my uh, my concert career. I usually mm-hmm. get the opposite of that, which is oh my my mom or my grandma loves yeah. you, and I say. Ugh. 
Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God, you must, you must just. Which I, and I appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. On the record. You must absolutely destroy with Cougars, A, and then B, at any karaoke night, they must absolutely fucking hate you. Oh, well, I, I don't, I can't do karaoke. I'm like the worst. Yeah, See, and this is what every this is what every good singer says. Like, oh, I can't really, I can't really I can't. sing. And then they go Here, up there. Let and me, they... I'll do a test. What's your karaoke song? Uh, I have a lot. I usually do. He either... does women. He does like. Uh, oh, that's a great. I'll do Madonna. like. Great I'll do like idea. Material Girl, oh, Shania Twain, idea. Man, I Feel Like a Woman. These are great uh, ideas. What about yeah. you? Or you? We usually do a duet of uh, Greece. We'll go up together and we'll do Perfect. You're the One That I Want with, by Greece. That's great. See, I have no idea. I have a panic attack over ah. this thing. The same decision, and uh, like the book, and I, I go to a different place. It's a dark place. It's not good. I like oh. nauseous. I start to freak out. Not fun for me. I'm a freak. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. And then I like anything that I'm drawn to. I'm like, it, nobody wants to hear that. You know, it's like well, you, you're getting it from like a professional standpoint of like what you actually want to, what you want to put your soul into. I don't know, a- man. I like to. Wa- I love to watch karaoke. Mm-hmm. It's one of yeah. my biggest nightmares. As really a interesting. I, I never would have thought that. Uh-uh. I'm not gonna lie. We're not usually a big fan of singers because as comedians, we have to go out there. We have to write the stuff and do whatever. You have to come up with the stuff and. There's no guarantee people even want to listen to you when you go out and right. do it. Singers, you already have you're you know, you can write your own stuff, but you can also just be like, uh, oh, tonight I feel like covering people. Oh yeah. And then if you have a great voice, which you do, you just go out there and murder and it's like, well, and you make money and you can eat get women so much more easy. <laughs> yes. Like you're really harping on this woman thing. Yeah, well, well the grandmas saying, and yeah, the moms, yes. like I said. If you're a good dude singer, it is the easiest icebreaker in the world. I mean, it's just literally like, oh my god, you sound amazing. And then it's like, you're in, done. Doesn't even matter. There's much more of an allure with singing than there is my life comedy. Is, my life is pretty great, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. How did you meet your wife? A lava lamp. How did I have you... it all? <laughs> <laughs> How did you meet your wife? Was it I'm at... singing related? No, and I. It's actually you know interesting because I don't hang out with children very often, so, so you guys are here. But um, yeah. I met her at a bar in New York, and I've never been on um, like internet dating before. Like none yeah. of that was in real life yet. Yeah, so. you're, you're not missing anything. Well, I know. I I, I don't know. It's just I, that also. I think next to karaoke would be my biggest stressor is to like have to. It's all yeah. have, a, have game or whatever. Unless you like seeing girls with <laughs> hairy, I don't know. <laughs> unless you like seeing girls with hairy armpits <laughs> or like blued hair girl, or like nose pier. It's a lot, especially a lot in LA. Lot a lot of that. interesting people. I used to live in New York, mm-hmm. and um, I lived at my first apartment there was at Forty Seventh and Ninth in Hell's Kitchen, and I oh. right up the street. I had just graduated from college, and my I moved in with some friends from school. And um, right up the street was a Mexican restaurant that they loved, and it was called El Centro, and it was at 54th and 9th. Mm. And the hostess at that restaurant is now my wife. So wow. she oh, was hostess and bartender. Yeah. And I, so I, you know, walk into this very cool bar restaurant, and, like, that was – I saw her – so I started going in alone, you know, total stalker, whatever that is. Like yeah. the Sunday night sort of yeah. almost at the bar by myself situation. It and, is uh, actually pretty smart. You went with a mysterious. Oh, he's so God, mysterious. Why is he coming in here alone? Is he an alcoholic? Maybe. Probably. Yes. Like Mexican. Al- alone on a Sunday night at a bar? Yeah, no, it's <laughs> alcoholic. No no, 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 no. New York is very much like drink heavy oh, culture the out there. Yeah, so it's the not time. that big of a deal, yeah, I think. Yeah. Anyway, so we, we met there and um, we, yeah. Did you have a cool line, or how did you end up breaking down the? That uh, actually sounds. Like, he did it the perfect way, where he, you continually went. You were like kind of familiar already, so right. it made it, it was easier. A, it was like a long play. It was yeah. not like yeah. a one one and done situation. Well, so. especially as a bartender, like when it is like downtime, it's like you just talk to people one because you're bored, two you try and get more money out of them, and right. then but for you, or like that's amazing. It's a great icebreaker for you. Yeah, I don't know. I'm. Uh, I honestly have no idea what I said. She actually had a boyfriend at the time, so I had ooh, to sort of ooh. deal. Mister Steal Your Girl over here. Had, I, it was a little bit, you know, off and on in the beginning. Yeah. Then she had to go break with her boyfriend. I didn't know that she did that, you know, under the radar. <laughs> Clearly, she. Yeah, but I mean, it's weird to think about like us that long ago. That was in like 2009. Damn. So, oh wow. Damn. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're still in high school. If that gives you, if that makes you feel. <laughs> it, yeah, yeah. It does not actually. Junior, <laughs> that was our senior year of high school. Like, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. 
We're yeah. turning we're turning thirty. Uh, well, by the time this airs, we'll be thirty. Hey, congratulations, June thirty. Right. Yeah, when it Netflix, I just when turned it, forty on Cinco de Mayo is my birthday. So I just oh, great. My, thank you okay. guys. I was gonna, I was almost gonna one. I was gonna ask if you grew up with sisters because your your skin is very nice. Thank you. Yeah, you guys are really harping on the skin. Well, thing we uh, are dabbling into the uh, plastic surgeries now, so we've gotten <laughs> our hair we've gotten hair okay. transplants. I saw. I was. I've just been waiting for the window of opportunity. Yes. So True. which one of you was it? All three. We all got hair transplants. Wait, you all did it? Yeah. Back to back wow. to back days of hair transplants. I've only seen the one video. Yeah. I think it I was you it. in the vlog. I vlogged it. Jonah. Unbelievable. He, his, if you would see his original picture, we'll, we'll have to put this in <laughs> I don't know if we throw this up there last is, time. But it is unbelievable what it is now. Compare, uh, he's wearing the same shirt from, from when he had his original haircut, so you, don't worry. It'll be a perfect mess. That's what his wow. hair was. You're yeah. kidding. Yeah. Yes. And that was that, a good look of it. This is gr- you guys. I mean, this is amazing. Yeah. First of all, you guys all look great. Thank but you. um, it's the 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 torture that those images have burned into my psyche is. Oh, it it uh, when we had it done because like we we've done it and then they do a uh, plasma replacement therapy with it. Okay. Yeah. With PRP. They take PRP. your blood. So they, they get the plasma out of your there. blood. Yeah. So Please. we did it and we didn't see any of what happened. And then we went in about a year after, eighteen months after, and like, oh yeah, like do another PRP. I'm like, okay. And then we actually saw what they did, where they have like this giant, like uh, what they call it? It, it. I forgot. It's like a giant butterfly needle. It's like seven inches long, and it like curves around your skull. So stick it in, and it whips around over here, and then they well they, they give you yeah. called the halo, and they just inflame this whole part right here and numb it, and then they go to town. On Is that. anybody else hard? On- <laughs> <laughs> I mean it. I've never seen. Uh, yeah, your demo is now just like men. <laughs> men. Yeah. <laughs> ED products. Well, you know what's yeah. crazy is I can't tell you how many dudes, once we put that out, how many dudes are like, yo, is it worth it? Should I do it? I'm like, if you have the money, absolutely do it. So many guys are insecure about it. Coming yeah, from sure. that guy, the one I just showed you, 100%. Oh, 100%. oh my so God. Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, that's crazy. They're a little, we went to Beverly. You can get them done, like, honestly, you could get three done. Fly to, if, you go to, if you go to Turkey or Iran, that's where the number one and number two countries in the world for hair transplants. Yes. Really? They are they yep. are the pros at it. They're the best because that this They're like just, the hairline is super important in the culture. I think or our, something? we had a they Iranian rapidly they, they like they all bald very early on. Oh, uh, I think, yeah. I think they had a, what our Iranian buddy said who had it done. Um, I guess they had a lot of scientists and engineers back back in like the eighties that had done a lot of work with skin grafts. So they had tried a lot of this from some sort of nuclear damage. Or something. But anyway, they they figured it out to where. I don't know. Sure. Don't know not if that's nuclear. it. Not nuclear. It's I'm, not, I'm nuclear. not sure what he said. Dude, what is it? They did have the big radiation. Radiation. Yeah. Sorry. Oh my God. Don't mind me. I'm stupid. All of our listeners have dropped off. Yeah. Yes. But anyway, so <laughs> they're listening and trying to hear us talk about actually legitimate ah. things. They're they're in the wrong. But podcast. anyway, I guess they just figured it out way earlier than it was done here, and they've been doing it for that is decades. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, thank God well, it, it worked. That I had no idea that all three of you did it. Bravo. I thank think you. That's great. Thank you. There's a, like, yeah. Why yeah. not? Have you had anything work done? No. Wow. Really? Oh, just a natural. Wait, well, you didn't. My... You didn't answer my question. Did you grow up with sisters? Oh, I have a sister. Yeah. That, that always yep. explains it, dude. Really? Guys with sisters always have nicer skin, better fashion, yeah, well great, groomed, great temperaments. Yes. Like just generally likable. Yes. Soft and... eyes. You have very <laughs> sweet, soft eyes. And most guys that have sisters have a leg up talking to girls when they're younger. Not you, of course, but uh, every... obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but most dudes that have sisters growing because we grew up with all brothers. Right. We have one older brother, one older brother, and then it's the three of us. And it was like oh, have an older brother too. Our yeah, entire I think, lives just I trashing each other. I believe I mean I'm really glad I grew up I have an older sister. I think having a sister is like a very lucky and good thing in terms of like sympathy and yes. you know, just a lot of things that are important in especially in this day and age. And I so I have two boys. Uh, yeah. and so I'm uh, like yeah. that's gonna be interesting you know they don't have that feminine mm-hmm. you know angle even though if even if you don't like your sister that you're certainly gonna have a different you know approach to women you, and you understand the female experience better because yeah. like that like for us we learned the hard way right. with like every girlfriend we had I we were just like we treated when we were like growing up like I would say pre-puberty and even during puberty we would uh treat them as like if they were our brother so they were like like you know Helga and Hey Arnold, yeah, yeah. we would treat them like Helga and Hey Arnold. <laughs> I remember I had a we had it was in like sixth grade or seventh grade. One of the girls that we knew she came to our like came to my house all of a sudden, uh, and I'm like instead of like 
she she knocked the door and I opened it. I'm like, instead of being like, oh hey, come in, I was like, what are you doing here? <laughs> and that, that I'm sure that made her feel great. Yes, uh, real good. Yeah, well, in she was like kind of always a crush. She also did child acting. The they know exactly what. what? Uh, and then oh. you punched her in the stomach. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, she used to kick me in the shin. So also very love, very uh, a lot well, of pinching, a lot of I, uh, Johnny Depp, Amber Heard sort of type relationship. Yeah. I uh, I would well, I um, gonna finish my story. Oh, sorry, yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> but then my dad, I didn't know my dad was there, looking over, and he like once I like slammed, I'm like, all right, bye, and I like slammed the door on her. He's like, he like pulled me aside, and he like. Slap me, and he's like, don't you ever do that again. Don't ever treat a woman like that again. I'm like, all right, noted. Right, right, right. Noted. So, um, we just had like to learn a week the hard ago, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah a week ago. Week. Um, I still will live with our dad. I yeah. will say, there's a lot of, like, through, like, osmo, or just, like, picking it up through, like, watching your sister, like, communication, like, empathy, like we were talking about. It's a lot of those things that you just pick up that you don't even think about. That we are just so, like, it's so foreign to us, even how you, like... That I don't even think about. Truly. It's really building me up here to be the I'm, ultimate, like, woman. I'm just saying, we... <laughs> I'm just saying, it just, we, it, we it's not just, have any... You're light years ahead if you already had a sister growing up. I, I mean, sure. at least for us. Absolutely. Like, I, I mean, didn't think girls pooped until I was 26. It, Legitimately. Wow. No. wow. Mine was 19, but I legit... Because I asked my mom one time, I'm like, Mom, do girls poop? And she's like, no. And I'm like, okay. And then I just... I, I, well, that's your mom's fault, I'm pretty sure. I agree with that. <laughs> or her, you know, having a dumb son. I, I knew pretty early on, like 18. Like 18, yeah, okay, no. cool. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> we, we, we got, we, uh, yeah, did, we're not very clever on that end. Yeah, well, especially like. So are I, you, any of you di- in relationships no. right now? No, we're all single. I did, I, we're, like I said, we're nah, still we're behind. Really we're still your behind. Sons, your sons <laughs> are going to grow up to be us. That's <laughs> if you don't have a sister there, oh, you they're going to be met your wife in 2009, so that was like 27-ish. For you, right? Uh huh. So we're not okay. too far. Oh yeah, behind. that's uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially now, especially here. Yes. L.A. Yeah. is a totally different ball game. Especially, I mean, we've only been in L.A. and you know, and like you've been, you grew up in you know Kansas, Kansas. and I moved to Nashville. I went to school in Nashville yeah. and New York. And here. you've been all over. Like the people in L.A. are totally different from anywhere else in the U.S. Right. Like, I think, not, I think New really York different. is more our vibe. I think is we're very like direct and straightforward. Whereas L.A. is like very much like kind of beat around the bush. Oh, you it's know, far. like I, yeah. I mean, I much prefer the New York situation yeah. Well, even I, yeah i mean just like even it's just a compact space yeah i miss the rubbing elbows and thing i mean it's cha- i'm sure it's changed and uh since the pandemic and everything and yeah. i'm sure it's getting back into it but yeah. like there's nothing better than gr- being in new york in your early 20s yes like that was the shit yeah. that's and, one uh, thing i wish i would have done i went there a couple months ago mm-hmm. and wish i would have done that in the 20s because like it's so it's cool because it's like obviously it can probably be intimidating like if you're if you're like depressed in that town, it can be very overwhelming. I'm sure. Like you're if you're what? like if you're like d- like down on yourself or depressed in that town, right. it can feel like oh you're just a tiny little speck, like nothing matters. Mm. But that's also kind of the nice thing is that you just it's like a revolving door. Like yeah. if you see somebody, it'd be worse to just, be alone here because yes. L. A. doesn't. They're not like trying to bring you bring you in. Hey, no. come over to my party. Yeah, LA's the opposite. No one. They know? literally just LA enough. people just try to use you for yeah, something. Yeah, they just like, like keep you at bay and yeah. make you feel shitty. Yeah, LA, LA chews you up and spits you out. At least New York, like <laughs> hey, you know, there's some sort of family aspect yeah. to it. I mean, I, I loved it. So, yeah. and I love Nashville too. I um, we just like went for the first time a couple a couple months ago. It was great. Did you have we, the best we had a great time? time. Oh, it was a great. Good time. We what went there for. Uh, we did. We were doing shows out in Nashville. Oh, great! But yeah, it was super and a and a TikTok mixer. Yes. Wow. Yeah. You guys are very. It was very me. fancy. Well, a lot of ring lights. We know, didn't that's... understand how uh, festival mixers or festivals happen out in Nashville, which is everything's pretty much. Uh, we got food trucks. We're drinking, and there's music. That's it. Oh, like we thought a, it'd be more of like a networking thing, more honky like tonk. It is here. Yeah. yeah, it's more honky tonk than right. like. Oh, clink clink here! Like oh, we thought it was so going to be much more formal. You're supposed to just like meet. You're supposed to get in there and create content. Uh, no, it was, that's what we thought. We that's had an thought. LA idea of it, and then it's like, no, this is on a fairgrounds, and we're like, oh, not what we thought okay. it would be. That would feel like a lot of pressure to be like, create content now, content creator. Yes, yeah. go. Yeah. yeah, be funny and country. And yeah, country. yes, mm-hmm. we, we were like, we were like, we're gonna cross pollinate with these people, <laughs> yeah. and they're like, no, we're just gonna get drunk and have a good time. Yeah, well, that's Nashville. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, Which again, we're we've been in our LA bubble for far too long, I think. So it's all right. it was a good yeah. excuse to go out to Na- any excuse to go out and travel and do shows. We'll do it in a heartbeat. For sure. Did you sing out there? 
I went to I went to Vanderbilt and then oh, uh, nice. in Nashville and then uh, yeah so I was an opera major at Vanderbilt and then what a fall from grace from Vanderbilt to this show I mean really <laughs> oh yeah I've had I've been falling for a while so yeah. this is just one you know stumbling yeah. stone along. another rock along the, yeah. the I have to rock say bottom. that my my um, the real fall from grace, uh, at least the, what I felt with my parents, was when I started making parody videos during the pandemic. Yes, and but the, that ended—I mean—that ended up working out. Oh my god, very well. It worked yes. out really well. But yeah, my first—it was a total accident, mm-hmm. and my first one that I did was my Corona. Yeah, and I'm singing into empty toilet paper rolls, and it's totally ridiculous, and I'm yes. not even singing that great. I just did it in my bathroom when my son was asleep, and um, my mom was freaking out because mm-hmm. she was like, "But you, you are." You went to Vanderbilt, and <laughs> you are an opera singer, and you know the. I started getting into the press as a comedian, which was really weird. Yeah, and she was like, "But you're a singer," and I was like, "Not anymore." Yeah, <laughs> I'm so a, she she had a problem with the labels. Oh yeah, the labels that's and, so and the weird. fall. You mean the fall from great? I don't know. She, that's what it felt like it's a little. So bit. weird, especially because you've 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 accomplished a good amount to like be like, okay, yeah, no, I I can still do all that. Yeah. But making dumb videos will also get me to show other people that stuff. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, I mean, you guys know. I mean, it's. I've been. It was such an amazing thing, and I still yeah. make them. But you know, my I had like a very traditional career up to that point, and I you know had, was on. <laughs> yeah, it was on a couple labels and had like releases and yeah. TV and concert specials and tours and stuff and and then um so that's all i knew was like this very structured thing and you know you have an agent and a manager and all this stuff yes and then to have all of this um exposure happen from something that i made on my phone yeah. was like very mm-hmm. crazy to me and, yeah. and you guys are, have really grown up in that uh-huh. and that's what you guys have succeeded in but well, i never had any experience with that well yeah and again for those that don't know i mean to say your video went viral is like kind of an understatement it like really like yeah. exploded like, in terms of yeah, like 20... combined hundreds of millions yeah. yeah it was like i've done 40 of them now and they're at like four or six hundred million or something but yeah. the first one i did was 26 million in four days so like Jeez. globally wow. viral but that was yeah. because the world had stopped like yeah, it was yes. just per i can look back and see and understand it yeah like uh, yeah, the whole world was sitting at their computer being like, what is happening? Yeah. Yes. Um, it was just crazy timing. So. We, we had the same thing where we like, we think the first season of Floor is Lava, and, and we got lucky on oh, TikTok as well, mm-hmm. was pretty much right when everybody was locked in and then Summer was out. It was like, the only thing on is Floor is Lava and yeah. Tiger King. I mean, I, we wa- yeah, we watched both. Yes, yeah. and that was literally it. So it's like, once you're done with Tiger King, it's like, I guess I'll watch this yeah. Floor is Lava show. But yeah, it was crazy. We And we have a lot of buddies that, do comedy and comedy's a grind. It's mm. it's absolutely a grind. You're doing a lot of bar shows, a lot of, you know, not glamorous. He knows he's gigs. a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. You're doing a lot of a lot of not glamorous gigs. And it's like during the pandemic, we're like, okay, let's we just gotta pivot and build digitally and just throw shit up and just see what happens. Mm-hmm. And just like you do, you're like, I wasn't what, expecting and that's anything. That's kind of what it did. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's like it just between that and then it was like, okay, we got some people started recognizing us from the show, and it's just everything kind of it gave us an extra like I don't want to say rebirth, but it gave sure. people a fair chance with the – that's the one thing about TikTok. It gives everybody a fair chance of posting. Anybody's video can go viral at any time. It's right. not going to happen on Instagram. But TikTok, you actually have a chance to go viral and stuff. So, Crazy. and it's it, – literally, it's like – Well, you know what? Um, as an older brother to you all, yes. oh. um, take the luck when you get the luck. Yes. It's, oh, yeah. Tr- it's just – it just is, it's so hard. And when you get a break, like just fucking run and don't feel bad about it at all. Yep. yep. That's kind of why we've been like, I mean, our page has been like, very, we've been very content heavy lately because, like, A, we knew this was coming out. Mm-hmm. So we've just been like, okay, because last time we didn't, last time when the show aired, we're like, oh, yeah, it's just the show we did. But then it like went number one and we're like, Oh yeah, we, and we had just gotten hair transplants. So, like when we <laughs> yes. literally, when we, so when this we is our timestamp, it was yes. free. Yeah, it's post hair. We got hair transplants on the sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, and Flores Lava aired on the twentieth. The twentieth. So wow. when like whatever extra the show extra asked us That's to do an interview, interview, we all oh. have we all. Yes, no. yes, yes. <laughs> we all have our bloody heads oh, from God. our hair transplant. Like, and we're like, or you're all Brett Michaels, just like yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Wow, they're really going for a look here. Yeah, and then. 
I mean, as if we weren't hateable enough, we're like there with like a bloody head and like, yeah, what's going on? Like, it's like. <laughs> oh yeah. So we could not have been less prepared for the first season. Now we're like. No, why would oh. you ever know that that was going to happen? It's exactly. great. I mean, it's wild. Yeah. It's just wild. So. Can lightning strike twice? Is Let's the hope real so. Question. So, literally got... everything in this business is lightning in a bottle. Yeah. Especially when you're, especially now where it's digital, where it's like, hey, you don't know what's going to take off. You just got to throw stuff up and yep. pray that. Something hits and gives you an extra chance. Sometimes yeah. the lightning bounces off of you and hits someone you dated. And then they <laughs> end up getting... Uh, have we talked oh, about that, like by the way? We have not talked about that. We have not talked about that. We, not talk. I, we, we, we won't that? go into it, because okay. hopefully we get her on. Well, you brought it up. so I hate her. Long story, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 she's great. She's great. But long story short, by a girl I dated ended up getting on a Netflix show and <laughs> kind of blew up. So wow, wow, wow. You can say the show. It's oh, the circle. It's the yeah. circle. Wow. For Just, those that follow us, you probably know who it she's is. On season, she got on season four of The Circle. Yes. I don't know what that is. Um, I... It's I won't a, say anything. I won't uh, say anything disparaging. It's a about show this. on Netflix. Okay, it's a show on Netflix. It's like it's like their ver- <laughs> it's like Big Brother meets like a social media twist on it. That's oh, like their version. It's like a four Big season. Brother? I have not, I've never seen Big Brother. Then I you, don't watch The Voice, which I was on. I don't watch American <laughs> Idol. I don't watch. We I didn't do, want, literally. I do watch Floors Lava. Oh, I watched. Oh, I watched all of Is It Cake. No, you did not. I, wow. I've heard that's actually a good show. The show, maybe, but yeah. there's other things that I hate about it. But yeah. um, uh, I'm, sure. oh, I'm curious, because someone gave me a note on it. I'm uh-huh. curious if you have the same note about it that they I'm did. Sure. We'll do it off, <laughs> we'll do it off the air. We'll do it off the air. You know, but is in the community. winner. It's kind of like, that. I think that might be like the new Floor's Lava in terms yeah. of just yeah. like everyone's watching this cake show. Yeah. But it was really fun. Well, for- Fortune's hilarious. Yeah. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Fortune's Mikey Fortune's. Day's on it, too, I think. Mikey Day's on uh, it? Yeah, Mikey Day's on it as well. But Fortune's Ooh. a beast. You, you're on TikTok, yeah? Mm-hmm. What Obviously. is your weirdest Obviously. TikTok algorithms that you're in? Because everybody has a different feed. I don't know, guys. I, all right. Again, and I'm, you know, let me date myself. No, because no, no. I'm, my TikTok experience has been fairly recent. Yeah. And, and I, that was not, you know, my focus. Yeah. yeah. So I've had, I don't know, even know what you mean. Let's like, find okay. Out. When you, when you go, when you scroll through your feed, like mm-hmm. for me, for example, the weirdest thing that we're into right now is pressure washing. I'll get a lot of pressure like washing pressure videos. Pressure washing cement. Yes. Like yes. Statements. Okay. Yes. Where There's you like, watch the whole thing and it clean. You watch them clean. Right. 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 The cement. Uh huh. So also a farrier. It, it, it's sending you what it thinks you want to watch. Yes. Yes. Right? Also farrier TikTok where they uh, will fix the horseshoes on a donkey or a uh, or a horse. TikTok right, right. will randomly throw these videos in there that are like, "Hey, a lot of people are watching this. Maybe you'll watch it." And then if you watch <laughs> it, it's like zip pimple popping where it's like, yeah. you're like, oh, that's disgusting." And then you just kind of keep like right. lingering and then. I don't, uh, I, ha- I don't, like, scroll TikTok uh, um, gotcha. at all. I figured so, you, were, you didn't, but your kids might, is what I figured. Well, my kid is four and one, so they yeah, don't maybe not. either. But um, I've seen on it. Instagram, if you guys know what that is, yes. it's a yes. Facebook yes. thing for I've old people. Yeah. I, I think my wife would say, like, my weirdest one account that I follow. It's a little bit of a pivot here, but I follow um, Dark Side of Nature. Uh, I do, oh, too. My, ah! It's so good. Dark and that's like, a, that's like a why, and I hate that shit, but I'm like, I will watch it. Yes. Like pimple popping. Like it, it's, <gasps> it, it like immediately reverts like your central nervous system to like primal form. <laughs> yes. Like I, the one thing they saw, I saw the other day was like a 30, a 30 foot wingspan man array. I saw that one. It was yep. insane. And it has this pretty big shark like on its wing. Yeah. And it's not, it, it just like dwarfs it. But yeah. for those of you, that's like, not that's a mild. great example of yes, the account yeah, because the dark side of nature is literally like oh, no, poor yeah. fawn getting totally destroyed yeah, by yeah. a cheetah. That was Sean's, most recent. Sean's on the dark, the Steve Irwin side of it. The, the, the dark side <laughs> oh, for yeah. Yeah, no. Dude, the dark side of nature on Instagram. My favorite one is the, not only that the captions the guy has are. By the way, it's it's like he finds like pretty gruesome pictures from like the wilderness and whatever. Like but the favorite one that I keep ha- seeing is he he reposted all the time is. It'll be a hyena carrying a lion's head. Oh, yeah. Yes. And, and that's he goes, crazy. And it's like the king of the jungle or something like that. I'm like, right, oh, right. my no, God. Funny. So I don't, uh, that's, that's, that's my example. I don't know that's what like, TikTok's trying to feed me, but I know that I watch weird animals kill each other. Yeah, that's good. Late that's, at night. I, or creepy or, you know. <laughs> no, no you went to that phase. No, I still went to that phase. But I'm, I'm, I'm a psycho. Yes. Mm. So, you know, he might be. Fair. You know, I don't. Yeah, I, I fit. I, that, my wife would agree in yeah. some ways. Yeah, there's. We there's some I think every habits. every guy has that little like weird thing about. I just him. need to feel like I'm in control. Yes, <laughs> yes. and I, yeah. that's my way. But every guy has that. I feel like <laughs> every single guy has something like that where it's like, yeah, that's their weird thing. You know, mm-hmm. are you gonna put your kids on TikTok or any of that? Like you're gonna like be as like, a as a featured performer or like as a, like, like a, let them. Have watch you seen it? the YouTuber families? 
Have yes, you seen those? I have. I have. You don't, you don't well, want to be a YouTuber my, family? My kids are in my videos, so I guess yeah. I am in some way. Ugh. But um, Daddy's court. Daddy court. Yeah. yeah, so I do use uh, my children for profit, and that's fine. That, well, that's what it should yep. be. Our parents did. <laughs> How did they do that? We were child actors. Oh, you were? I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We did like 14 commercials. Like, we did oh, a bunch wow. of shit as kids. Wow. Basically, we got very lucky uh, when we were kids because we were identi- We looked identical, identical so when we were kids. So you could switch you out? So the yes. labor law was three hours. And you're from L.A. Yep. There you go. So right at the three-hour mark, oh they'd God, go. God, you guys are the winners. Not yes. only are there two, there's three. Yep. Well, we, oh had, uh, we had a little bit of a falling out. You know, we had our... We we got to a point where we're we were talking about your hair again. Or? Yeah, <laughs> no, that happened later. That happened a lot and we, frequently. We didn't take the blood oath in the Illuminati. We were thirteen. <laughs> we didn't do the blood oath. Uh, no, we had um, we had a chance to be on the Jay Leno show, the Tonight Show, mm-hmm. and you know we were in consideration for another show as well. And that the Jay Leno Tonight Show would have been huge. Would have probably got us the the gig. And uh, another twins. They went. It was between twins and triplets, and they ended up going with twins. And that show was a sweet life of Zach and Cody. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And Disney picked them because we didn't have enough national exposure. But so what are you trying to do on Leno? As or well, agent. So we, 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 were on, we just got on the show ER. As, had, oh, as, as, an a season, as, as an actor. As an actor, yeah. We, child. Yes. So we had smallpox on the episode of ER. So we was like, it was like one of their biggest season finales ever. So to ride that momentum, since ER was an NBC show, they were going to put us on okay. Leno. Right, right, right. And the day before we were going to get on Leno, we got bumped For Zach. by Dick Cheney. It was re- I'm sure it was so fun. No. Oh, it was so literally like watch. post 9-11. He was doing oh, a glamour God. interview before they went uh, to war in Iraq. <laughs> yes. Wow. Yeah. And he just, <laughs> in the voice, he, ta- he literally talked about bird hunting. He talked about like hunting birds and stuff, and they're like, all right. And it was Fast just, forward a year later, we know yeah. what happened. So are you, were you guys going to go on and be like adorable triplets? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah, wow. And we were hope, my, my agent was hoping that that would get us yeah, like, hey, that, look at that. That would have possibly been like an Ellen situation where you like, oh, everybody yes. falls in love Yes, or at least yes. got us something on something else. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, somebody yeah. would have considered us for something else. So um, now, you know, we're, the bizarro world of uh, what it could have been. We're in a podcast studio here now. I did sing on Leno twice. Oh, nice. Just to make you feel bad about yourself. Well, you know, you somebody just, got you on Leno. Aged yourself a bit. I did. Uh, but that's I did. Okay. I have a, uh, that's true. We Three were boys. eight. When were you on Leno? Uh, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> How were you when you were on Leno? I we were going to be. 30 okay. for sure. Oh, so yeah. this was, it was post After voice. Yeah. Post voice. Yeah, I did. Oh, around? Yeah, oh, no, it was no, the second. No, no. It was the second stint of it after Conan. Oh, what, is Leno still on? No, I know he's still alive, but I'm saying when, because he was he. I thought he retired pretty like 20. No, I think it was after. He came back, that's probably right. He came back from. I was Conan. on in 2012. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Okay. Conan had a stint, and then he came back. Yeah, Conan. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's right. He came back for a couple of years. I had it. I mean, and that was um. I did a Chris. I did a uh, Oh Holy Night from my Christmas record on that, and with this beautiful choir, and it was a cappella, and I um. Was very. I got really nervous for that one because I grew up watching Leno, and yeah. um, and so and they have you behind. They raise a like a shell yeah. or whatever a screen. Curtain. Yeah. And I heard him announce, and I just had this whole weird flashback um, to you know watching him in my kitchen in Wichita. Yeah. Yes. And then um, and I have to start that acapella, and I was extremely worried about the entire situation. But it was a great, I mean, it ended up being great. But Your voice didn't crack? Yeah, it didn't. And I'm for that song, that was always be one that I would be worried about for Oh Holy oh, really? Night. Yeah, because everyone's just waiting for that. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's yeah. always you, 50-50 chance. If there's, <laughs> a, if there's a song you wish you could have done on Leno, what song would you, like if you got your choice now. Dream song, you're going on a TV show after Floor is Lava, coming in hot. Oh, <laughs> man. What, what song and, are you singing? And is it WAP? Is it WAP? For yes. sure. Yeah. Uh, for sure. Because that's, I just feel like that really fits my brand. I think yeah. so too. Uh, yeah. Um, well, I would do, if I, if I go back on a show for whatever reason, I would do a new song. Yeah. I'm, I'm making a new record now uh, with a uh, producer named Autumn Rowe and Kizzo, who did the John Batiste record. And they um, Kizzo. just won album of the year with oh, uh, John oh, nice. Batiste at the Grammys. So it, that's awesome. Um, it's actually. A, a very exciting accident. You yeah. know, we met right before they got um, 11 Grammy nominations and we're Jesus. halfway through our album now. So I would love to do one of those. Instead yeah, that would be of, great. Like, revisiting my past. but I have to ask well, you. Well, that record label is really adding on the uh, the awards. You got 11 Grammy noms and uh, a lava lamp. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have zero Grammy noms. But, you know, but it's inter- interesting. I um, 
and I think that's what's so cool about you know the internet and yeah. and all these different things and like where we're at, where we're at today as a culture. But like I've I'm all these really cool things that kind of come up that are opportunities for for anybody can have them. Truly, that doesn't require a label anymore. That doesn't require a studio. Mm. That doesn't. And I've like I said, I grew up on like the very traditional system of like needing a record deal and all stuff. Yeah. And it's like I've had huge budgets before that didn't do shit, and then. Yep. Now you can, you know, have your own podcast and reach the world, and yep. it's just or really just cool. Record a parody onto your phone and yeah. sing it to toilet paper totally. rolls. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> now I have to ask you, since uh, you're also a performer, do you before shows? This happens to all of us. Yes. Do you get the pre-show shit? <laughs> I knew you're gonna say that. <laughs> um, no. You what? don't? No. <laughs> oh, I'm so jealous, dude. I've got an so iron jealous. bladder. I do, and that's a problem. Iron colon. That's there why you go. I take. Uh, you got to take that psyllium husk daily, you guys. Oh, 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 you have like an issue in general. Now we're really getting into the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I told you we'd bring you down to our level. <laughs> I said well, that. We well, would. we because our problem is when we're in a green room, they only have one toilet, so and that's we all be a total nightmare. And yeah. we sync up. We always sync up right before a show, oh, where yeah. each of us has to shit. Oh no. Yes. It's, you know, that's not good. Usually um, we can't. We can't eat before shows. I don't. Yeah, I don't have that problem yeah like i said it's complicated but um i also don't share a uh, green room with with two other guys that would be really bad it's not fun um heaven forbid you ever have a tour bus on the road together i I mean i hope i do and i hope i don't if that's i i if we if that's if we had a tour tour bus level i'm not complaining if i have to shit in the same bathroom as them that's not a big deal (laughs) yeah but i don't think you're supposed to shit on the tour bus so it's really not what what are you gonna do then you're supposed to put what's the point ever Never, never. Uh, that's like well, it's, it's like or... taboo. Unless you're, unless you're it's like, unless it's like a trailer where you're s- hooked up to a sewer line, you're not supposed to. But what do you do with the shit? You hold it. You until hold it you till you get to your next off. stop. Yeah, or... maybe to get a gas station. Yeah, some I sort feel of. Like it's more inconvenient to pull the bus over. I would agree. I don't make the rules here. I'm just. I didn't know. You. I we're not big RV people, so I didn't know there was an <laughs> RV etiquette. Yeah. Wait till uh, you get to a Wawa, and then you know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> dig, uh, dig a dump. Yeah. Uh, now, Chris, as a dad, mm-hmm. are there any secrets you can give to a guy that it will be a future dad? Like, sure. stuff that we would not know unless we were a dad. About just parenting just or everything. self-reflection? everything. Life, oh both. God. What's um, one thing you wish you would have gotten advice on as a dad that you would have used? Oh, man. Well, I would say, um, like, all your wildest dreams – that you want to achieve or go- visit, if you want to go to get another hair transplant in Iran or something, <laughs> like we you do. said, we do, um, or whatever, like do it now because the your life as you know it is completely over, and that mm-hmm. it's not a negative; it's just a fact. It's different. Yeah. It's different, and mm-hmm. like um, and so there's that first of all, and that is sort of a heavy thing, but it's true. Mm-hmm. Um, there's no like, oh, I'll just keep being who I was because you, that person's dead. Yeah, you're ra- you're raising <laughs> you're raising a whole another life. You're yeah. giving you have to take you care of that. Give person. your life away yes. and give it to somebody else, which is beautiful and amazing, but also annoying. Yes, and, uh, yeah. Res- yeah. and you get resentful. But um, <laughs> <Wow>. okay, <laughs> now we're getting to know. No, I feel like on the, I feel like on uh, lava. I I went I went into like super bitter dad mode <laughs> as the bad attitude which yes, yeah. clearly is coming from something but uh yeah i don't know my um i love that i have two boys i think it i think it's so great to, like my friends who have brothers i i'm jealous of and i love yeah. their relationship and i'm excited for i my older ones hugo and the rockies the younger one i, I like would i'm excited for that relationship and mm-hmm. um but i guess one thing this is more of an observation and it may or may not surprise you but boys are fully aware of their penis from the beginning. Yeah. They are up in there yeah. from birth. There's not <laughs> there's not like a delay. It's an immediate thing. Yeah. And it never stops apparently. Interesting. It's hilarious. Well, so Sean's is still growing in, so we're working on that. <laughs> We're at we're at thirteen inches now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the hair transplant and the penis yes. reduction. Yeah. Yes. You know, yeah. unfortunately. Well, I mean, like, so sorry for you. And all are, you are you referring to like when they're like a baby? They're like, oh yeah, I can use this thing. They're as grabbing like a- at it. Like they're just they're just grabbing at it or talking about it or um, you know it and it does things immediately. Like there's the erection is like 
from the start. That oh, thing really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Wow, you're a you got a potent family. Oh, they're ready to go, and it, it's so and it's hilarious because you look at each other. And yeah. Like, ah, yeah. Should we be uncomfortable yeah. with this? Yeah. But it, I mean, I don't know. I think fully entertaining. But there's a great. Well, maybe Louis some of the maybe some of the uh, maybe some of the uh, programming is alluring. Uh, maybe Paw Patrol is doing something to these. You know. I think so. I think. Yeah. <laughs> um, Putting one thing I am water. a little bit nervous about, and you, as you guys are athletes, and I obviously am too. So um, <laughs> my my older son is left-handed and i'm not and okay. so i think Ooh. that's that's something that i'm like that's going to be weird like trying to help you throw or swing a yeah. club yeah. or swing a bat like mm. or swing a tennis racket when you, yeah. it's the opposite hand mm-hmm. i think for me i'm like that is weird you me. need to see if luke or tanner are left-handed and then maybe they can help you out with yeah, that yeah just gotta pass it off you need if you it's need hard someone... in parenting you just hire someone to help yeah. you out. yes yeah. or or find a sport where you don't i I'll say let them ba- play soccer. I'll say yeah, <laughs> right, soccer, baseball, and baseball. They can learn. You know, you can. Oh, you can do learn it. with both hands, yeah. and you know that's pretty useful. Uh, that was also interesting. Like he was left-handed from the beginning, and they're like, "Oh, really? you're ambidextrous," but he would just always use his left hand. I don't know. Interesting. These, these little things that are boring to literally everybody, but are just kind of weird. No, we like we like the nuances. When you watch, especially boners. You know, a, a, yeah, especially the boners. <laughs> I mean, the boners. <laughs> yeah. I was yeah, not when, expecting little boner. When when little when Sean was a baby, they he had the same thing. He had a little boner, and the doctor honestly, the doctor thought it was just two Audi belly buttons. <laughs> and this is and you, this is even to this day. Is a yeah. They're like sometimes. they're like he's the double Audi belly button. That's what he is. <laughs> Did somebody drop a Tic Tac in there? Yeah, I can tell you know when I you know uh, circumcision is a thing. Yes, in, yeah. you know the world. So if you happen to do that, it's mm. a that is a that's something that you cannot be prepared for either to be like. Did you watch it? Uh-huh. Oh. Oh. Uh huh. Oh. Yep. I don't want to watch that. Yeah. It was very weird. I, so let me describe. Ugh. it. Yeah, I, I want to <laughs> do it. All right, so first of all, they strap your child into a basically a straight jacket. So it's very torturous and yeah, seems very Machiavellian. Wrong. It seems yeah. very wrong. Um, and this tiny like one day old penis is there, and this poor child. And they, the contraptions that the doctor uses are so much more than I ever was ready for. Like yeah. there was an array of tools yeah. for this procedure that seems quite simple. Um, but so they, they, they use local anesthetic and so giving a shot down in that nether region. Yeah. And then they use something that goes between like the tip of the penis and the foreskin and spreads it out oh. so that it looks like... You know, um, a flower blooming, a flower blooming, or the uh, a blooming onion, mate. <laughs> you know, rock. What is that? The plant that eats everybody in penis, penis fly, fly tra- penis fly trap. Penis, there you that's go. a penis yeah. fly trap. Yeah. And then they take, they do something else that involves clamps. There's screws involved. There's clamps. Yeah. And then they like woodshop class. They cut, cut the, that shit. Oh my god! But it was quite involved. Wow. And then the worst part is they wrap it up. You know, and it's t- they're and wrapping they, it up, and then they send you home, and then it bleeds at home. Your wife freaks out because this penis is bleeding everywhere, and it's just a big mess. Well, anyway, you eat. This uh, is don't you eat the skin afterwards? You do. Yeah, it's sort of yeah. like the male version of eating your placenta. Uh, the placenta yeah. is to eat the foreskin, oh, or interesting. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It's like a uh, it's a tribal thing. It is it's supposed yeah. to give you good luck. <laughs> Prost. Yeah, yeah, yeah I actually it in there. brought it and I cut <laughs> it into yeah. fourths. So hey, my dad had a uh, had eat three at one time apparently. Poor guy. Buffet. It's just Colin. Mario at that yeah, point. yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's one thing where I'm happy Wait, that. So, was that for your first son or your second son? Uh, both. both. Oh, you had to, you saw the first one. You're like, I'm gonna you're gonna watch it. Again I after. will. I don't feel like any dad would not be there to. And as it's as if the doctor is going to cut the penis off. You're like, I've yeah, got to be there for security. Yeah. I, I've got to make sure no, no riffraff is going on. Like yeah. nobody's no, drunk. I totally understand that, but yeah. you could have also been like, oh, he. I saw what happened. So they did it at date. They did it one oh, day yeah. old. Oh yeah, it's like very as soon as they come really? out. Oh yeah. really? Uh-huh. I don't know no, why we, I thought it was debated late. too, like on the second one. But then the what we actually talked about was like, well, it'd be isn't it weird if like yeah. if one is and one isn't? Yeah, it just seems like you're yeah. a recipe for disaster. So, yeah. so we went with both. There is something about I think guys have a have an appreciation for regardless. They always have an appreciation for other guys' junk. Like, and I'm not saying like aesthetically. I appreciate. I'm just saying yours. like what? any they have empathy for any dude that like if somebody gets kicked in the balls, you're like, oh, that's funny, but also like, yo, I yeah. feel, I feel, feel your pain. If you need a minute, please yeah. take it. Anything uh, dick related, they always are like, no, nah, that's that's it's, rough. So like I feel like account. as a dad, especially you have to be like. 
It's my son's junk I'm talking about. We gotta, I got to watch. It's gotta unfortunate, watch. but you have to be there to watch it. got to watch. Support the ladies, him. The ladies will appreciate this in the future. You'll thank me I later, so. son. I You'll think You'll thank so. me later. I think so. Um, well, on baby circumcision, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's exactly what we wanted to. That's where we thought it would go. From Vanderbilt <laughs> Opera to. Bad dad. Yeah. This <laughs> guy, I was going to say, your mom's going to love this. never coming back to our podcast. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even bad dad. That's just that's straight up being a dad. That's just the cold, <laughs> yeah. hard truth about it. That is the truth. Thank We asked for it, though, too. We asked for it. We are, we are curious because we have not entered that realm yet. We yeah. are very resistant. It's the best. It is the best. Yeah. One day, I, that's kind of where. We have a lot of buddies having babies right now and friends having babies, and we're like, we're still doing our thing, but there will be a point where it's like, all right, once we're done chasing it, then we'll be parents and get married to all that Yeah, stuff. and you don't have – and don't get me wrong. Like, you shouldn't give it up. And ev- and you there you just – it totally changes. There's no way to describe it. There's no way to know what, you're, what your path is going to be, but you will juggle it and you will figure it out, and it's so hard, and then yeah. you do it. And yeah. whatever that – and every day is a fucking challenge. Yeah. yeah when so, I've told my parents, I'm like, like, hey, fun. we're not <laughs> having – so great. <laughs> I told my mom and dad, I'm like, hey, we're not having kids because we're on both seasons of the floor is loud. Okay, we have – some irons in the fire. I have fire. a career. Yeah. <laughs> what Chris, about season three? Chris, where can everybody uh, follow you, see you, all oh, that thanks. good stuff? Uh, I personally am at uh, Official Chris Man, and all the guys are on, I think we're doing um, We Are Bad Datitudes, so check that out, mm-hmm. and you can follow the rest of us. And um, we're all of us are very excited to have befriended you guys, and I yes. uh, think you're very funny and big fans. I, say, I think we're going to film some things in the future, too. So. I think so. We're going to work on so. putting some some... FIL content out. Yep, That's we would love to do a uh, daddy court with you. Oh my god, that would be the best. We have we've had many issues that we've <laughs> been on, like able to. We need a good moderator. Yeah, let's to, do it. So yeah. we will definitely do that with you. And we're about as intelligent as your four year old. Yeah. So I think it's right on par. <laughs> I'm in. I think we should just plan on it, yeah. audience. Let's do it on. definitely. And then, by the way, uh, we have some sweet new merch dropping for Flores Lava. Mitchell, <laughs> Dill, can we get a Dill, get a get a close on Mitchell? Modeling the I Was Sad shirt that really Sean should be wearing, but yeah. well, Mitchie's yeah. modeling it. We got uh, I Was Designed Sad, it. Flirty and Dirty, and some other Versi Triplets merch. So check that out on the website, all of it at versitriplets.com. Uh, but yeah, Mitchie, the shirt looks, how's the shirt feel? Sell us the shirt. It's a great fit. Uh, you're going to get laid if you wear the shirt. Yeah. Your shirt hey, on- look great. Honestly, I, it, <laughs> thank you. Uh, it has been a very good conversation starter for when I've gone out. A lot of people are like, You were sad. What happened? And then. You get into it, dude. It's I been a good starter. Yeah. It resonates. Yeah, it resonates. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, Chris. Thank you. Circumcision very. voyeur and <laughs> lava lamp winner. Thank you. You know, just adding all the feathers into the hat. You know, <laughs> we don't uh, out with the opera, in with the new titles. Yes. You know? <laughs> Thanks so much, Chris. Appreciate Thank you. it. Later.